Mood Diary, Day 58. Today, I look like I'm about to do some exercises and that was my plan in the morning. And I got so involved into other type of work that I didn't do any exercises today yet. I think part of my lunch break is gonna be doing some yoga stretches and something because I feel that HIIT workout the other day is still playing tall on me. So today I feel slight degree of dissatisfaction and logically I understand that it is not very much to do with something that I did. The satisfaction is to do with the, why the time goes so fast? I still wanted to do this and this and this. Again, you know what? On one hand, I'm thinking is not just too high expectations or, but I would actually rename those into greedy expectations. I wouldn't say this in a self-berating way, but I think what I need to do is to change the value or to change the quality of the value because I think there is part of me who thinks overworking and overdoing and overpressurizing myself is a quality. It's a positive quality when actually in reality, it is not a healthy quality. It's not a healthy quality to have because it is not sustainable. Well, okay, there is a, a theory about usefulness of stress. Experiencing some stress and having to perform extra and push yourself extra and do lots of things can be healthy. It's kind of stimulating and activating. But the constant experience of stress can cause things like even depression, like a chronic dissatisfaction with yourself. So what I am doing is I'm re-educating the part of myself who thinks overdoing and over pushing and over committing is good into saying, actually, it might not be good. So I think I swing, uh, I swung, swing the pendulum in the direction where I am overpressurizing myself too much. Now I need to swing the pendulum on the other side where I see that this is not just positive. I actually need to see the negative into overdoing and over committing because I think so far a part of, of me thinks it's always good to overcommit, overdo and over expect from yourself. When I rename it into as being greedy, it actually sounds like, you know what, this thing that you should be avoiding. So, because not being greedy feels like a positive quality. So not being greedy with overdoing things, for me personally feels like a healthier and softer option. So I'm playing with that a bit. Now, on the other hand, I also feel satisfaction and progress with myself. There is this, thing that I think lots of us have where we feel like we need permissions for things and it's a theme for for many of us I think those who can relate to me is like we are waiting until people will tell us yes you can do that this thing for seeking permission is almost uh, the same as seeking approval because if you are absolutely confident, if I am absolutely confident and assured that this thing that I want to do is the right thing for me to do, I'm going to do it. But if I need permission or approval from someone, that means I don't feel like I can do what I think is the right thing to do or what I want to do. So. When I thought about it, is basically behavior of a child. I'm not saying that being childlike is bad, but I think this type of behavior, it comes with part in us which feels not mature enough 
and not developed enough and not adult enough to understand our own autonomy and independence or let's say control our own our own lives so my satisfaction came from the fact that i actually feel that i now starting to understand that i am grown-up person like grown-up person I don't know about you but me I lots of time I still feel or felt like well there will be time in my life when I will be grown up and you know first of all it's like when you're a teenager and you think okay I'm gonna be 22 and I'm gonna be fully grown up then you think uh, well actually I'm gonna be fully grown up when I'm gonna be 30 and then you think okay I'm gonna be fully grown up when I'm gonna be 35 and I'm like I'm 35 now so uh, I am actually properly grown up I actually can make decisions and do things in my life the way I want to so I think I think this kind of like it, I know it's kind of like a common sense on the one hand and for some people who don't struggle with that it's like yeah but I think for me and f people like me we kind of like we have this kind of like a carefulness about our actions and decisions so when this realization really dawns on you it can take time to really trickle down because the way I see it is kind of like you become aware of something and then you are consciously aware of it but then it has to go deeper into your subconscious and it has to connect to you emotionally for that new knowledge to be really absorbed so basically what what does it mean for this you not only know it theoretically but you also act according to this new information so basically your behavior changes so i say my mood right now is nine out of ten is it nine out of ten or maybe eight and a half out of ten yeah i feel like half day is done and i probably still do some things which i wanted to do because i still have time today and i also like spending time sitting with this knowledge that i just acquired or it kind of dropped down so i wish you also to have a nice day and I also wish you to ponder the fact that if there is something that you are waiting for somebody to give you permission to do, to realize that you no longer need that permission for everybody who is over 18, that means. So have a good day and thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.